this video, I'm going to quickly walk through the syllabus and set up the course. So hopefully you watch my brief hello video. Uh, here's the syllabus. I uploaded a PDF and a Word doc. So here we go. All right. This is English 1010, 692, Composition 1, Distance Learning. Uh, my name's Charles Kell. You can just call me Charles. There's my email address, my office, office hours. If you ever want to meet over Zoom and talk about any of the papers or anything with class, let me know and I can set up a, a Zoom meeting. Or if you want to meet on campus, I can do that as well. The purpose of this course is to enable students to write fluent, accurate, and effective essays, including research and documentation assignments. This class is distance learning, which means we will not be meeting. I'll be posting videos that walk the class through the lessons and assignments. It's your responsibility to watch the videos, take notes, and keep up with the readings. Even though we are not physically meeting, the course syllabus will structure the class based on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think this helps guide where we are and somewhat replicate the feel of a real class. So it, you know, the, the, I have the class set up as just a Tuesday and Thursday class. Everything will be located on our Blackboard site. Uh, it's your job to follow along, read everything, know what's going on. You need to be proficient and comfortable navigating Blackboard. If at any time during the semester you feel lost, or if you want to work on and or cover additional topics, it's your job to let me know. So if you feel behind or if you're struggling, please email me and let me know. The entire class and the readings will be available on weekly sessions on our Blackboard page, and I'm going to go over that in a moment. Learning outcomes. At the end of this course, you should be able to, one, follow the writing process and principles in various assignments. That's my major goal for the class. Think of writing as a process. It's a process-based approach. Write formal papers. Use standard English grammar and mechanics. Adapt a writing style that aids and enhances communication. Apply critical thinking skills to all steps of the process writing and to differentiate among inadequate, adequate, and superior presentation of ideas. This basically means the choices we make in our writing. Analyze, evaluate, and synthesize several valid sources of information to produce well-reasoned and original essays in accepted academic format. Examine and assess writing. Develop information literacy skills in research and writing. This is basically knowing what good research is, you know, developing our research. Research a topic with social, cultural, or historical implications to produce a six to eight page research paper that integrates quoted and paraphrased material with MLA documentation. Those are the learning outcomes. This is what we'll have accomplished by the end of the course. There's no required textbook for the course. Reading and handouts will be available through Blackboard. Uh, please note, you know, it's, it's your responsibility to know what's going on. So follow along, watch the videos, follow the class schedule. Uh, a little note, you know, on email and professionalism, e email me with with content questions if you have trouble if you're having trouble with assignments if you're not understanding what's going on don't email me when when something's due or how much it's worth all that stuff is going to be available read everything emails assignments syllabus etc carefully you know we don't have the luxury of going over these things in person so it's your job to really follow along with this uh, the four papers will be in mla format discussion boards i don't care about format for that Respect each other. Uh, this stuff, a lot of this stuff r r has to do with in-person class. You don't really have to follow along. Um, instructional methods, everything again is available on Blackboard. Here's what you're concerned about. Here's, here's where the money is. I always base my classes off a thousand points. So you're, it's easy to gauge where you're at. So if you finish up with 940 points, it means you get a 94%. Here's the grade breakdown. Attendance, participation, following along. Obviously, we're online, so there's no attendance. I'm counting these points, though. If you turn your papers in on time, you turn your work in on time, you're going to get these points. That's basically that. We're going to have four discussion boards, which I'm going to make a separate video on that, worth 50 points each. 
that's 200 points. Then we have four papers. That's the class. Four discussion boards, short discussion boards, which should take you like 10 minutes each. We, we have three short papers and then the research paper. That's the class. The grades will be available on your papers with detailed comments through Microsoft Word track changes on Blackboard and posted in the gradebook on Blackboard. My goal is I want everyone to do really well in this class. You should really try and get an A in Composition 1. Uh, if you don't do as well on some of the papers, you can revise and turn in to get a higher grade. Your goal should be to get an A in the class and an A on each paper. You must complete each paper in order to pass the class. There's the grading breakdown. If you need academic accommodations, contact the DSS. And here's the schedule. Again, uh, we're not meeting in person, but if we base the schedule off Tuesday and Thursday, this makes it easy. Class 1, introduction syllabus, watch the videos on Blackboard. Paper 1 handout, and there are these page numbers, and I'm going to show you those in a moment. October 10, more stuff about Paper 1. We're gonna, I'm going to have some more stuff up there about Paper 1 and Blackboard. Uh, some more pages. <laughs> And then paper one is going to be due on Blackboard. So if you notice, uh, we pass out the paper, and then a couple weeks later the paper's due. Paper two handout, working on paper two, paper two's due. Paper three handout, you get the gist of it. And this follows along the class and the research papers due. So that's the, the course schedule. I'm going to show you on our Blackboard page how it follows this. So if you go to weekly sessions, I have the course set up here, week 1 through 11. That's the class. Uh, I'm going to upload the video I'm talking about now for the syllabus here. There is pages. So, so here's the pages right here. Paper 1, a video on Paper 1. Here's the pages from a textbook that, that you know I'm, I'm not having you required to read. What I did is upload the pages and scan them. So read these, that pages that deal with uh, the class. There's the paper one handout, paper one video, week two, paper one. There's more stuff. I have videos and handouts, more pages. I want you to read these pages next week. 251, 266, really important that goes with our first assignment. There, definition, that's our first assignment. So there's pages there. You can look at that. Uh, handouts on introduction, videos on introduction. Handouts on thesis statement, videos on thesis statement. Hands out on body paragraphs, videos on body paragraph, so on and so forth. So. On the toolbar as well, there's a discussion board. Again, I'm going to make a separate video that walks through that. There's my grades. You can check your grades there. Writing videos, writing resources, more handouts. Here's MLA format. Walks through MLA, MLA format. There's an MLA template, in-text citation. So everything, there's a bunch of stuff, tools, guides, everything located on Blackboard. So that's pretty much, that's the class. So read the syllabus, live it, love it, learn it. I'm going to have videos about everything. As I mentioned, if you have any questions at all, email me and we'll talk about the stuff for the class. All right. Good luck, everyone. Talk to you all soon.